Hey guys, we're here with a 1983 XJ6 Jaguar. Brings back memories. I used to put small block Chevys in these. We have Miguel here from Velocity Customs, who we work with on some builds, and he put an LT1 8-speed in this. I just drove it, and while the LT1 is really impressive in a Jeep, it's even more impressive in a light vehicle. So we have an LT1 8-speed here, and Miguel's gonna tell us a little bit about it. Come on, Miguel. All right, so we got a, um an LT1 engine out of a 2018 Camaro. We got an eight-speed automatic transmission with tap shifting working on the on the steering. Um, we did QA1 suspension on the rear, uh, dual dual shocks on on each on each wheel because it's independent suspension. Um, we custom build the, the the radiator, the the shroud, the intake. All the motor mounts are custom made. Um, we had to do some block hugger headers, which they don't sell for LT1. So we um, we use uh, LS block hugger headers with LT1 flanges to, to make it work. Um, AC is all functional. Uh, we have a gear display. All the gauges. Let's work. go look inside. So we have our standard Jaguar shifter here, and they've done something similar where park reverse neutral drive and second is your manual mode, just like it is in our conversions. Now once you go into second, this current display reads, and these here, which you can barely see, I think those are horn buttons, are actually this up and down shifter. Miguel had to custom manufacture a slip ring and a clock spring to make these work. So it's a pretty impressive achievement. And I just drove this thing, and it's not only really fast, but it's really docile and drivable like all the LTs are. And it just goes to show why the LT is the future, because not only do we get the performance of the high horsepower crate motors of the past, but we get the drivability of the stock engines of the past. It really is the best of both worlds. All right, Miguel, you want to tell us anything else about the suspension? I mean, I mean you can show it a little bit. You can see it from right here. Suspension. We, we had to custom make the brackets and everything to mount it over there. See that? So what do you got? Dual coilovers? Dual, dual coilovers on, on each wheel, yeah. And it's, it has adjustments, so you can set it up really soft for a smooth drive on the on the road. And that's adjustable by the driver? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All, all you got to do is click a couple of, a couple of clicks on, on, on a... And we're oh, running wow. the stock Jaguar rear independent yes. suspension we're with the inboard on. brakes to reduce the unsprung weight. That's correct, yeah. That's correct. So it must handle pretty good. Oh man. And and you can adjust it like like a hard. So when when you want to do a launch or like if you want to run it on the track, all you gotta do is adjust it to make it hard and it'll 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 hook and it won't bounce or now, anything. I just noticed driving it that when you're cruising down the road 50, 60, 70 miles an hour and you get on it, it's instant power. Oh yeah, in, in all gears. This car keeps pushing the same from first to eighth gear. You, ne you never lose power in any right. gear. And that, that's my observation on the LT. If you look at the LS3s and the Hemis, they're great motors, but you have to get them in their power band before they start to pull. This so one is in power band all the time. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's in well, power it's, it's a really nice build, Miguel. We'll come back with some more of Miguel's builds in the future.